So everybody again, it's Kingfisher here. I hope everybody's well. This is uh, John in front of me and the new team member Aiden to the Medusa squad. I uh, hope everybody's still okay in the current climate. Um, this game is red, red, red. yeah second day. Pretty much 40 minutes after the last video I posted out, it went in, re re aired, refilled, and um, grabbed some scram basically. Um, the blues are still in the top right hand building, oh, we lost so I'm building. basically going back to where Simon it. was in my last video. Yeah, the one on your left, Andy. So uh, we're going into breach the building the again on the floor. left because we're not 100% sure if we've lost who it. or what is in that. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, so Andy's breaching on his own, so I decided to get my ass over there. Give him a hand. So, yeah, he's a real good mate. Play with him all the time, Andy. Is it red? Um, the box it. is gone already. And Where's then there's a slight ball? disagreement. Oh, uh, yeah, the lad upstairs shouted colour and instantly red. shot Andy. And before even Andy uh, had a chance to. Uh, red, red. Say what colour he was, he was hit, so he had to go back to respawn. And he wasn't carrying a medic badge, so he had to walk all the way back. A little bit annoying for him. Um, understandable from the largest deer, you know, it, it can happen, it does happen, it's just the way it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm just checking the building again. Just letting my lads know where I am, because I didn't see anybody back at respawn, any of my squad. Uh, yeah, so we pushed all the way forward. There's barely any contact there on the left hand side. So I decided to have a look at this building across the road that Simon was having quite a lot of fun with. And yes, there's my shot cam again. I I love the shot cam and I hate the shot cam because it does this quite a bit. If you don't get it all switched on properly, it's a pain. It, it can absolutely chew battery, so that's why it's got its own little power power brick. Just spot one, man. First one. You can't move when you're dead, you idiot! Yeah, so he's still moving around, so I give him another round. I didn't realise at that point, because there's actually another video on YouTube, which I'll post in the chat at the bottom, so you can watch it from a blue player's perspective, what he was actually doing. Uh, couldn't quite make out that that was Baz at the other side. Empty, and yeah, his pistol's empty. Yeah, so just giving him a heads up before he starts firing, and he's got nothing coming out of the end of his Smith and Weston. So yeah, this is actually quite a nice little spot if you just want to do a little bit of camping. You know, yeah. as I say, it was second day, so quite honestly, I didn't want to be running around like a headless chicken anymore, I wanted to get into a spot, have a bit of fun, a bit of defending, hold some key buildings, and I think this was actually the last time I actually went out on the event, I um, stayed out until I was empty, and sacked it off about an hour before the end, so I had time to get changed and get rid of this gun, because it was a pretty long drive home. Um, Hope you're all, uh, as I say, still hanging in there with this lockdown and what's going on. Uh, I know a few people are struggling. Still talking to quite a lot of my uh, Andy, I'm in the paintball door. mates, my out, squad, yeah. and some other lads that I know. Making sure they're all right. Uh, as I say, if you're not doing too good, you need to chat some of the There's plenty of forums out there. There's plenty of people willing to. Just chat, talk things through, go from there. Top of the building, Andy. Top of the building. Struggling. Yeah, so uh, one of my uh, squad members, Andy, is just on the other side of this building on the outside perimeter wall. He's sticking his head up a little bit too much, so I was just shouting to him that they were still in the top floor. Mad boss. Then, yeah. Get another blue. So I tried to see if I could actually see him from the door. He was actually, it was easier from the window. So yeah, he's just letting me know, you know he's down and I'm letting him know, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot him, but I was using him as bait just in case he got a blue player to come and 
medic him up and I think he realised what I was doing so he decided to go back to his main respawn. Yeah, so uh, this is probably going to be one of my last videos from uh, War Machine. I'm going to try and do like a bloopers and best bits and all the rest of it. So that might be out next week. Um, obviously with the lockdown my footage is getting a bit low for new footage but I'm probably thinking about actually doing some um, kit videos Can't and, see anybody um, unless they're in like there tactical rig videos and masks and stuff like that and just hopefully keep the videos barn, coming right to come forward. so you got something to watch because I know I'm here, no bored blues. out of my just head I'm actually quite glad I've got a little bit of this to do a little bit of editing to do you know it's keeping the um, keeping me ticking go over and check it if I were you unless you're going to get shot in the back but it's clear yeah. letting these lads clear know it's the looking really out. clear apart from I obviously don't have a clue who or what is in the back so I better be safe right, sorry right. yeah come forward all lads are pushing them quite yeah, hard so on this right hand side. Blue main spawn is behind that white building, as I said in the previous video. It's probably two, 200 meters. If, there's, if there is anybody in there, they're going to get cut off in a minute. And then I get shouted at for just cracking the door open, which is a little bit naughty. But I was trying to do the best that I could with a door. Oh, right, okay, with a really strong self closing mechanism on. And it was practically, there was a chat in the morning, that was just windows. safety briefing about windows, basically because the first day there was quite a lot of people opening and shutting oh, windows, yeah. poking no, their no, no, uh, no, no, barrel no, of the gun no, through no, and then no, just no, flattening no, away no, and no, shutting no, the window no, instantly, no, which no, is no, annoying. No, it's no, understandable no, with doors a little bit. But windows, it can be really, really annoying, especially if they can look cleanly out of them and just, you know, see a little bit of movement, stick the barrel through and then black you and then shut the window. So you've got no sort of chance of replying with rounds coming in and hitting them, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, this is the bit where I've actually watched uh, a blue player, blue player's video. Um, from the other perspective, just about now it, it sort of kicks in. Go ahead, a grenade, uh, I'll have one. And just a little bit previously, when I, as I say, when I took that first lad out. Yeah, so the lad is actually filming just at the other side of that window. Two in that top floor. So I'll post it in the description, in the description below. Um, video's coming up to the end now. If you've enjoyed this video, if you have subscribed, press like if you want to like it. It plays just there, just off in the distance. It takes a couple of rounds to get him. It's fairly windy. I have got a short barrel on the end of my Fossil 8. If you all stay safe, I'll still try and get the old video out in the next couple of weeks. I shall catch you all later.